All right, guys. So it's 2:23 p.m. Oh my god, I don't even have my lashes on. I have to put them on. <laughs> and we're on our way to get our lashes done. Me and my sister. I mean, our lashes done. Our lips done. That's how nervous you are. I'm fucking scared. I've been nervous for like three days. Eddie said that I was gonna die. <laughs> so what if your lips fall off? I said what? I'm trying to come out looking like a rock star. I want them to look exaggerated. I don't want them to look natural. Yeah. I think that's why. So I'm, I'm thinking of getting a lip flip and the filler because a lip flip will like pull this up and make it puffy. Yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna have to ask like the lady who does it because I don't know. I'm I just gonna see what she recommends. I think you need. I think you need more on the top lip, anyways. Yeah. Your bottom lip is pretty pronounced. So you need more on the top lip. But I want to even it out too. Like I do want some on the bottom because I need this line like to find more. Let's look at it. I don't know. Before. Before. Yeah. So the the lady that we're seeing, um, she is located in Medford, which is like close to Boston. So we're driving out there now because we don't live in the city. But I'm excited. My friend recommended me to her, and she has nice lips. Oh my god, let's do this fucker! I know you wanna be there! So, right now they just put a numbing cream on my lips and it's working really fast. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I hope it doesn't go into my mouth because then my tongue will get numb. I just have to fill out some paperwork for um consent form, I guess. Um and stuff like that. I'm nervous. Right now my lips are so fucking numb. I can't feel anything. Um, it kinda um stings a little bit. I don't know if it's because my lips are chapped already, but it kinda burns. I'm just trying the bottom, you're gonna get a little baby pinch. You look like you do when you have your lipstick on. <laughs> Don't distract me. Then I stop looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> is that the lip flip? No, this is called tenting. Okay. The lip flip is um actually a Botox. Botox. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tanya, that makes all the difference. Mm hmm mm hmm You're gonna love it. <laughs> Are you feeling these anymore or are you mostly numb? Uh, I still feel it. She's a champion. Mm -hmm. Tani, you look like a bright star. Thank you. Almost done, okay? The, the, the top lip alone is such a dramatic. But we're gonna massage it, it'll go down a little bit. But so the... you're done being injected. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you like them? I do. Clean you up and they're gonna look even better in a minute.
that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> All right, let's take some cuts. Could feel a little lumpy, bumpy in the beginning because mm -hmm. um, we use the ultra floss, so it's a little bit thicker. But it will all smooth out after a couple days. You can. So they're going to be a little bit smaller than this once they settle. Mm -hmm. But for the next day or two, they're going to start blowing up on you, and they can look really scary. He's like, I have kids, and I can never do my lips ever again. Okay. I love how these look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with myself already, but this is like another level. Oh, that's uh, so funny. <laughs> I thought she meant like now that she got the lift, she said like she's already obsessed with herself. I love it so yeah, much. She likes like those Instagram filter lips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. <laughs> great Are you scared? <laughs> She's saying she has a said she has a vein and it might bruise easy. Right there. See, it's a little like blue. Oh yeah. I just wonder if it's gonna be messy. Uh oh. I'm trying to dodge it. Mm. It's like anytime you stick a needle into your skin, the chance of bruising is there. Mm -hmm. so. I bruise easy too. So. Oh goody. So this is the final result. I literally love them. So I showed her a picture of um, this girl that I liked her lips. The top lip was bigger than the bottom. So she tried to like put more of whatever she used in my top lip. She said that in a few days they're gonna swell even bigger and it's gonna look like exaggeratedly crazy but then it's gonna like go down. But I did one milliliter um so a full syringe and my sister did 0.6 milliliters so she didn't get a full syringe she wanted it to look more natural but use her lips they look so good wow. but right now honestly my lips freaking hurt like i can't even press them together yeah it's like on fire this is gonna be yeah she gave us like ice she said a lot of people who do lips don't use ice but I feel so good. I love how she like pushed my lip up upwards too. Like that's exactly what I wanted. And she was nice. And she was super nice. Her name is Jackie, the same name as my sister. But she was really nice. Um, I can leave all the information of where she's located and stuff in the description bar. But I really liked her. And her office was clean and professional. professional. Mine didn't bruise too badly either. I, I bled a lot, but I always bleed a lot. I just got this tiny bruise like right here she at the top. She did see at the beginning too, which made me feel safe. That she's like, you know, you have a big vein in your lip. I'm like, I do. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> I love my lips. They look so good. My dad is gonna kill me. So it's been a week and these are what my lips look like now. I put some lipstick and lip liner on and they look pretty good. I feel like even though for getting a full syringe, they don't really look like I got them done too much. I don't know how to explain that. Like I felt like the first day they looked freaking so cute. Like I like that little like plumpy look. And then they like slowly went down and went down and went down. And now they're kind of more subtle. Um, but I would definitely go back in for more. So Jackie recommended that you can go back after two weeks and get more filler done, whatever you want to do. I don't think I'll go in two weeks, obviously. But I know that it lasts from, they say, from six months to a year. So probably like towards the end of the year, I'll probably like get some more. 
but I really love how they look. They're super cute and plump. Like I, you guys could tell in the beginning of the video, I really had no lips. <laughs> Everybody used to say, your lips are fine. I mean, they look good when I put like, I overline them and you know, like I know how to contour my lips, but um, they really were really small. So now they look really cute and plump, but just to like give you guys a little bit more info on it i went to jackie obviously she's located in medford massachusetts so for half a syringe which would be 0.5 milliliters that costs 300 and yeah 300 dollars uh my sister got a little bit more than a half she got 0.6 milliliters so she paid 330 i believe i got a full syringe which is one milliliter and that cost me $550. So I feel like I've looked around a lot of different people and the prices are around the same wherever you go. Some people charge up way more than that, which is like crazy, you know. Um, but I did get Juvederm Ultra XC in my lips which is like a, um, a more firm and volumizing filler. There's all different kinds of fillers. I know the kind that she put in my sister's was not so volumizing because she didn't really, she wanted it to more, look more natural. I wanted that like, give me those Brad doll lips. <laughs> so pain level, a lot of people were asking me if it hurt. Listen, everybody's pain tolerance is different. Like I have a really strong pain tolerance on a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably like a 2.5. Like, it's not, I've, so I've watched, I've researched, I've watched a lot of videos on people doing their lips. I've never heard anybody say that it hurts. They're always like, oh, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. It hurts a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They numb you for sure. Like, they put um, a numbing gel, which you guys saw, all around your lips. But you can still feel the pinch of the needle which is kind of what hurts a little bit and when she goes really deep into your lip you'll feel the pinch for a little bit longer but it's not like an excruciating pain that you can't handle like you can handle it it's a little painful but it's not like zero pain but yeah i could feel like at some points if you um go back and you watch it my eyes you could you can see when it hurts, I close my eyes and um, I was just trying to breathe and it would bring like a little tear to my eye, but the tear wouldn't actually like come out. Like I could feel my eyes getting watery, but it wasn't like so bad that I was going to start like crying, you know? But yeah, I can't think of any other questions. I had so many people DMing me about it. I was kind of getting overwhelmed. I really liked how they looked the first day. So like plump and juicy. So I don't know. I say that I'll wait till the end of the year, but who knows i'll probably go back in like a month <laughs> i definitely want them like a little bit bigger than this but they do look really cute i love the shape she definitely listened to what i asked for i showed her the picture she was like got it girl like everybody likes their lips differently not everybody's gonna want them the same i'm not here to like post this video to tell you go get your lips done i don't care you do what you want to do as for me i've had my lips my whole life i've looked at my lips my whole life i'm well aware of what kind of lips i had i was not ashamed and i'm tired of the oh your lips were fine comment because i know my lips are fine but if i want to change something then i'm going to change it and if i can do that then i'm going to do that so i'm happy with what i did and i would definitely get more <laughs> And shout out to Jackie because she's super awesome, super sweet. And if you need um, to ask her any questions on how to book or anything, she'll DM you right away. She's really good with that. But yeah, I think I touched base on all the questions. That's the end of my video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and stay tuned because I got more videos coming. All right, bye guys.